morning everybody. Welcome back to Millennial Farms. It's an early start. I can hear the owl still going there in the background. Yeah, the rain stopped. And do you know what that means? We can finish the sunflowers. And to be honest, we need to get that done. Because we are... We are close to uh, needing to start on the soybeans. So while, uh, while the sun's still rising, we're going to take advantage of the fact it's dry. And we are going to go and get the combine fired up and get these sunflowers finished and sold. We're not going to put these. We're not going to put these in the silos. We need to keep all of the silo um, space available for the soybeans. I think they're going to take up a fair bit of space. So let's just park this guy up here. Can't really remember where we are with stuff actually. Let me just jump in here. Right, he's completely empty, that's great. I do believe this is full. This is entirely full. Yeah. Well, just off entirely full, which means that we could get a full, full load into here already. There we go, let's get those loaded up. Filling that second trailer now. Will we just let us then a full load? So I also know we've got a full load in the combine. So we'll uh, just nip around here and pick that up as well. And then we can fire up the combine and get this last little section finished. That was in the 8RT then. I forgot it turns on a sixpence. So I will uh, just be a little bit more sensible on my turns, forgetting it's not a wheeled tractor. Turn the lights on. I have to jump out fire up the combine as well, which then turns my lights off. So another full load in here, 22,000 litres going into the hopper, into the auger wagon. Just let that, let that finish loading it into the trailer, and then we'll get this out of the way, and it'll fold the pipe in while I'm waiting. There you go, shed a bit of light on the subject, we'll get this out of the way. And I think I will uh, jump in the combine and get that finished. And then, the moment uh, I've been looking forward to, is on field two. We are going to run a convoy of two combines. Which I'm not going to lie. Very much looking forward to seeing. Right, let's leave him here. Let's do a little bit of combining. Shouldn't take more than uh, a few minutes to get these final few rows done. So, um,. Yeah, I will uh, crack on with this, and we'll be back shortly. Thank you. 
haul both of these trucks down and get them unloaded. So we're starting field two with full complement of empty equipment and we aren't having to uh, move things about too quickly. So I will run these two trucks down to the grain cell point and I will be back shortly and we will get the combines ready. Okay, so sunflowers dropped off. This is our field on the left here of soybeans. So what I'm gonna do is probably just pull up here at a sensible place because we are gonna use both of these trucks and some. I'll cover them both. A second truck I'm gonna pull forward a little bit more just because he's on follow me. Which is such a brilliant tool by the way. Just get him off the road. So let's grab this one first. I'm going to drop this header onto this trailer here. But I think I'll just leave it here for now. I mean, we will use this again. Because we've planted corn. In field 3. And I expect we'll put corn in most of the farm. Most of these fields. For the next uh, harvest, so... Like I said, this header will not go to waste. I think the likelihood is we'll buy a second one. Look at the farm in the background. That's a great shot, isn't it? Let's hope nothing's coming this way. But we'll pick up this header. Both of these have got air bars on them. Slightly different colour coding, so we know which one's which. There we go. Nearly got caught then. Look at these headers. These headers are massive. 45 foot header. It's going to be fun setting these off, I tell you. Actually might just cut into this a little bit. Just to give us a bit of breathing space. There we go. That's all I needed to do for now. Right, let's go and get combine number two. Now with this guy we do need to take the header with us. I'm going to fold the harvester here, just because it tucks the pipe in. I don't want that clashing with the header in any way, shape or form. I don't think it would have. But better to be safe than sorry. Now this is the 790 with the tracks. Oh, slightly different config. Same uh, capacity. It's got the big bin on the top, the 22,000 litre bin. Air bar on this one is black rather than green, but in essence, exactly the same combine. I'm going to drive this, and this is why I just cut into the corn a little bit with the other combine, because I need to drive this one. Oops. Sorry, speed limit sign. Drive this in behind him. I'm actually going to cut that a little bit as well. Right, let's unfold it again. Forgot to do that. Just going to cut this little edge here. That's all we needed to do. Buy ourselves a bit of space and reverse them backwards slightly. Because we need to set these up separately. That'll do about there. Okay, so we are going to go to course generation. It's going to be on field two. What we'll do 
two headland passes, which to all intents and purposes is four, because we've got the two combines running. And we're going to go with multiple tools. I'm going to start on the headland passes, smooth corners, working with is fine. We're going to go with generate field course. Now technically what it's doing here is counting it as a 28.4 metre header. So what we need to do now is we need to say that this combine here is in fact our one left combine. So it's going to run to the left. And then I need to make sure that it's... Here it is. Stop during unloading. Yes, I want to switch it off while I'm unloading. And there's one other setting. Vehicle convoy. Activated. Maximum distance. 50 metres. That is all set up and good to go. So before I go into the next combine, I'm going to save that. To combine field 2. Spelt it wrong, but up there. Then I'm going to get into the second combine. And turn on course play again. And delete the course that's in there. To combine field 2, let's load that course. And this one, vehicle convoy activated. And this is one right, it's already set itself. So, slightly tighter turning circle, did you notice that? Turning circle on the other one was 12, on this one it's 10. I wonder if that's something to do with the tracks. Or the dual wheels, I don't know which. But, I think that's all we need to do now. So both combines should be set up now. Nothing left to do. But to drive the course and see what happens. One. And if all has gone to plan... Two. And he's going to wait a few seconds till he's 50 metres behind the first combine, I believe. And then he'll go. There we go. 50 metres. We are running two combines. How exciting. So there you have it, everyone. We are running dual combines, which is going to make very short work of this field. And to be honest, if nothing else, it looks really, really cool. You can actually run three. Three is the maximum you can run, I believe. But uh, it's a pretty cool sight, that. Pretty cool sight, indeed. So we'll let them run for a bit. Um, I'll put this on a just a, a, a quick time lapse. We're already at 34% of the tanks anyway, so it's not going to take long to fill them up. So I will I'll probably jump in the auger wagon and follow them at a sensible distance when they probably get to about 80% and get them both unloaded. But as far as I'm concerned, this is this is a win. We'll just enjoy this for a little while. Hope we can get this field finished today. So without further ado, we'll just sit back and enjoy this for a while.
So that's the light flashing, 82% already. Uh, better go and get the auger wagon. Get ready to unload. And uh, Combine 2 is probably not going to be far behind him either. So let's get that sorted. So as soon as this is done, we'll just keep an eye on the second Combine. Probably run with him actually. We need to reverse slightly back so we don't get in the way of Combine 1. This is great, big farming. Big farming US style. Here comes Combine 2, waiting patiently there while uh, the other one loaded. And I imagine, looking at his hopper, he is not a million miles away from getting filled up too. Just follow alongside him, shall we? There we go. Stretch the combines out a bit, they won't be as close to each other. But uh, it's not the end of the world. I'm loving how this is working. Brilliant. So, interested to see how much I will get off this entire field of soybeans. Obviously, soybeans yield a little bit lower than some of the other crops, but it's still going to be a lot. Okay, everybody, I think we're going to leave it there for this episode. Um, this has been immense fun, and uh, I'm so pleased it's worked out as well as it has. Um, what we'll do is we'll wait for the second combine to come around so you can see it all close up. But yeah, so good. I mean, if you want an example of course play working at its finest, you're looking at it right here. But for, for now, from me, the farm sim guy on the Millennial Farmer Matt. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you like what you've seen, please hit that subscribe button, like the video. The more of you do that, the more stuff I can do with the channel and I can do with you guys. And yeah, let's make it happen. As always, thank you all for watching. And for now, it's goodbye from me. Bye for now.